Hey, what's going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Today, I wanted to go over some of the things we spoke about in previous channels and also introduce you to a few more things that I think that every boater could benefit from. So uh, let's get into this. I hope you enjoy today's video. All right, the first product I wanna to talk to you about today is going to be the new quick release trailer straps that I got on Amazon. The link will be in the description below. But uh, what I did here is I bolted them right to those tabs to where your old stock straps that come with a boat go. And uh, all you gotta do is you push this in and it releases that cable. And then all you do is you hold that red and it pulls it in and you're done and your boat is unhooked. Um, it's a simple bolt on product. So you're able to just bolt on right from that point. I went to West Marine and I picked up the bolt, the stainless steel bolt and some washers to make it fit appropriately on our boat. Um, every trailer is going to be different. So whichever one you have, just make sure you have a washer under the head of the bolt and a washer under the nut of the bolt. And then I used self-locking nuts because you want these to be able to swivel. So you don't want to tighten it down with a standard um, lock nut or lock washer and nut because then it's just going to sit in position. You want these to be free to rotate. And yeah, I mean, that's it. So it's quick retractable. All you gotta do is release it with the red and uh, strap her up. And then when you're at the boat ramp, all you do is you push this button here, or when you're done, you pull it forward here, and then you can ratchet it like a regular ratchet strap. All right, the next product I wanna talk to you about is the Leash Kill Switch Lanyard. So, especially if you're Floridian, you know about the new law that has come into effect to where if your boat has a kill switch installed, you are required to have it attached to your body. And that's at all times. So, if they spot you without your kill switch attached to your body, so that if you fall off the boat, the boat shuts off, and you don't have that, you're going to get fined. Well, what I did is, is I'm not trying to have a little short tether that's just clipped to my waist and there's no regulations that I have read, correct me if I'm wrong, on uh, the length of the lanyard. So what I did is I went and I got this, it's basically a paddleboard, surfboard style um, leg lanyard, all right? And I store it right here on my throttle handle, okay? It's called Woo Wave, it's on Amazon, the link will be in the description. And what I do is I strap it to my leg, lets me move around the boat while, this is still attached to my body. So if I need to come up here, grab something out of the forward locker compartment, I can do that. And yet I'm still attached to my kill switch. Now I waited to post this because I wanted to test it and make sure that the lanyard wasn't too heavy and that, you know, swaying around wasn't gonna rip the kill switch out. But it worked completely fine. I went out and it was a beautiful day, island hopping. Had this around my ankle whenever the boat was in motion never pulled off nice and tight still and uh if you were to fall off the boat you know boom there goes your kill switch and you are in compliance with the new laws another thing that i noticed a lot of people were buying the wrist ones well to me that is not a good idea that is a great idea for jet skis because on jet skis your motion is this on boats you're doing this and having that lanyard wrapped around your wrist and maybe getting caught on this knob or getting flipped around the steering wheel and underneath it, that's not safe. So you want the kill switch to be down below the steering, not interfering with your hands. You want freedom of hands. You want it either clipped to your waist or you can do what I did and get a leash, uh, a, a wakeboard slash surfboard leash and have it clipped to your ankle. And that way you have the freedom of movement nice and long i believe this one is in the nine to ten foot range of slack but i am not positive the link will be in the description 
Another two great products is this manual pull anchor. And then also this is a retractable, underneath it is a retractable and extendable aluminum push pole slash grab pole slash boating pole uh, used for many different things. And um, let me go over them real quick with you. So as you can see here, this is called the Yak Gear um, manual pole anchor. All right, fits right in your rod holder. And as you can see here, very tall. And all you do is you put this baby in the ground and you just push and turn. And instead of spending those thousands of dollars that it costs to get the uh, power poles installed, you can do the manual pole anchor from Yak Gear. Again, the link will be in the description. And as you see in my videos that I post, especially if you just watch the um, island hopping video, that was just a quick video. I wasn't worried about uh, filming that day. That was just a uh, day out having fun. So it was just minimalistic for videoing. But this is what I used all day at these sandbars and it works great. It takes you about three minutes to put it in and have your back end of your boat tied up with the same things I was telling you guys before in previous videos, your airhead bungee dock lines. So quick, easy, best things that I have at haul out that, you know, you got your rear anchor, but instead of having to, if it's not rough out and it's, it's a nice sandy area, you know, obviously you're not going to use this in rocks or real hard stuff or deep waters, but instead of hauling that anchor out, you have that. And then, of course, like I was telling you before, this guy right here is a great investment, okay? So, you can use this to grab things maybe that are overboard or to grab the dock to pull it closer. Um, you can use it as a push pull. And then also, underneath this red cap here, let me get it off. you have a threaded head. And what I use that for is when I get back to wash my boat, I pull that red cap off and then I put my um, brush on the end of this. And now I have a telescopic brush for doing the underside of the boat or anything else. And then the rubber cap goes on and you can use it as a push point here. You can use it as a push point here. And like I said, it extends and it retracts with just a twist of a hand. So those are another two great products that I use all the time. And I think you guys would enjoy them as well. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed today's videos. Um, just wanted to give you a little more products to look at. I hope you guys are having the same great experience with your boat as I am. And I hope these videos are helping you and any kind of questions you may have, please leave it in the comment section. Um, all the links will be below in the description. And uh, if you enjoy these videos, think about uh, liking and subscribing, clicking that bell and getting those notifications. That way uh, you get the next videos coming out. I also have an Instagram for this um, page as well. So you get sneak peeks and then also mini clips or I go live on the Instagram when I'm out in the boat or with my buddies and it has anything to pertain with boating or fishing. So that'll keep you updated. So that link will be in the description as well. Everything is under the handle, the FSH dude. So whether you look me up on um, Snapchat or Instagram or YouTube, it's all the FSH dude. And uh, you know, go ahead and uh, check it all out. I appreciate you guys stopping by and I look forward to seeing you in the future.